my advice is to reach out to a lawyer to know your legal rights if you unfortunately are struck by a car. If you're injured as a pedestrian in Alberta, what should you do? We're speaking with lawyer Steve Grover about that on today's Ask the Lawyer. Steve, thanks for joining us. Hi, Molly. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, too. So first off, what is your experience representing people who have been seriously injured or even killed as a pedestrian? Well, I mean, first of all, uh, if you're struck as a pedestrian by a car, unfortunately, you know, you're going to get the brunt of the injury. I mean, unfortunately, you have a large vehicle coming at you, um, striking you, you're unprotected. You know, the, uh, unfortunately, sometimes the injuries are catastrophic. Uh, sometimes they are just uh, soft tissue, but more likely than not, the injuries I've seen in my office are more like broken bones, uh, brain injuries, um, you know, and so they, they're not um, good results. I mean, my advice is to reach out to a lawyer to know your legal rights. If you un unfortunately are struck by a car or a truck uh, crossing the road as a pedestrian, so you know your legal rights are going, going to go forward on a claim if you choose to do so. Can you walk us through what someone should do if they're hit by a car in a crosswalk after they receive medical attention? What steps should they take next? Well, I mean, if the person is fortunately cognitive and knows what's going on, uh, you know, first of all, I mean, you should make sure the cop, the police are called to the scene. If, if you're injured, make sure the ambulance is called to the scene, the fire department also, because they can provide medical aid or clean up the scene of the accident. Uh, get witnesses. If you have a phone available on yourself, like most people do carry an iPhone or Samsung now that has the ability to take photos, I would take photos of the scene. Uh, to make sure that you know this is where i was because a lot of the insurance companies now will argue well were you really in the crosswalk were you not in the crosswalk i mean it, crosswalks are clearly marked in north america um but you know the insurance company for the vehicle that hits you obviously wants to find some contributory negligence uh typically they try and even argue hey you're running across the street not walking so if you have the ability to be you know, cognitive and be able to take photos, get witnesses, make sure the police show up, um, you know, and tell your story to the police, um, that is a privileged statement you give to the police here in Alberta. So there's no worry about having that disclosed to the other side unless you choose to do, do so. And what about once the person is at the hospital? Should they use their own health insurance? Are there any car insurance policies that they can actually use that'll help protect them? Well, in Canada, we do have government health care. Uh, I know in America, you call it socialist medicine, but we do have, uh, you know, Alberta health care here in Alberta. Um, it doesn't cover a lot, but, you know, if you have private medical benefits through like Manulife Financial, I'd recommend accessing them. Also, if you're hit by a car, you're entitled to access that car's insurance through their Section B benefits to pay for physiotherapy, chiropractor. Also, if you're off work, they'll pay total disability benefits. Um, also, they'll pay for your prescription medications. So there's a lot of access to medical treatment. And I always tell people, if you're in an accident, you're injured, you know, you've got all this access to treatment through the healthcare system, through the Section B auto insurance coverage use the treatment to get better because, you know, when your case is closed, you can't go back for treatment um, and you want to get fully recovered, you know, if you're unfortunately hit as a pedestrian in a crosswalk by a vehicle. And what about in an unfortunate case of a hit and run? What does a person do in that situation? Well, I mean, in a hit and run claim, I, I'd advise a pedestrian contact the police again right away. Uh, contact the ambulance, call 911. Um, if it's a hit and run claim, you should reach out to a lawyer like our firm in Calgary. And because, you know, you can make a claim in Alberta through the Motor Vehicle Administration Fund. You have 90 days from the day of the accident to notify the fund here in Alberta. If you don't, your claim could be statutory bar. Uh, you should also contact your insurance company because if you do have a car, you may be entitled to access underinsured coverage uh, through your family endorsement coverage. It's sort of like an ump coverage, underinsured coverage we have here in Alberta. And uh, you, there's, you know, you should be able to access that also if uh, your injuries are more than $200,000, which the fund uh, covers on a bodily injury claim here in Alberta. You spoke about what somebody should do if they're hit while in a crosswalk. What about in cases where somebody is jaywalking? Who's at fault in those situations? How's that determined? Well, first of all, as a public policy reason, I'd advise people not to jaywalk. Uh, it's not in your best interest, but unfortunately, if you are jaywalking, um, 
you know, that could be a factor in assessing uh, if you're you if you are contributory negligent for causing the accident. Um, there's a lot of factors that go in those kind of cases. I've handled a lot of pedestrian claims where the pedestrian was jaywalking, hit by a vehicle, uh, went and was severely injured. Um, you know, in one case I can think of, I know the driver of the vehicle was drunk, so that was a big factor in caught pointing negligence to the driver of the vehicle even though our client was jaywalking but it could be a factor um in you know you causing your injuries and contributory negligent causing the vehicle from hit, to hitting you thanks for taking the time to talk to us today Thank you. Have a great day. You too. And that's going to do it for this episode of Ask the Lawyer. My guest has been Steve Grover. If you want to ask him about your situation, you can call the number on your screen. Thanks for watching. I'm Molly Hendrickson for Ask the Lawyers.